want to briefly outline why so much of the talk and activity in and around sustainability has little or nothing to do with sustainability. As a consequence, sustainability reporting, accounting for sustainability, are actually nothing to do with sustainability. This is dangerous. We know what sustainability means in broad terms. We also know that mankind's ways of doing things are not currently sustainable. The data from such a diverse range of independent sources is difficult to gainsay. We probably need to accept it and press on. So, we are currently unsustainable. What is causing this? This is an intensely complex question, but one of the best and most robust attempts to understand the connections is offered by Paul Ehrlich in the 1970s. He argued that environmental impact, I, was some function of the number of us that there are, population, P, how much we use and consume, A, and the technology we use to produce that affluence in both the aid coefficients and the disruptions that extraction, manufacturing, transport and disposal cost. Whilst I have nothing to say about population, we can all agree, I think, that capitalism, and especially large corporations, are amongst the principal sources of the astonishing affluence and the rapid advances in technology that we all enjoy. So capitalism and corporations are, obviously, I would have thought, implicated in the whole sustainability versus unsustainability issue. And corporations appear to have embraced this with enthusiasm. Indeed, you can hardly move for a range of reports, initiatives, programmes and books that seem to suggest that business and sustainability are one. Indeed, you would be forgiven for inferring that not only is business embracing the challenge of sustainability, but they also seem to have it solved. There are an awful lot of sources that would like you to believe that business is in fact sustainable, or well on the way to becoming so. So, on the one hand, we have global data that concludes we are profoundly unsustainable, and a heuristic that would suggest, a priori, that business is a major likely source of contribution to that unsustainability. On the other hand, we have a panoply of sources that suggests that business is, or very nearly is, sustainable. They cannot both be right, can they? Well, a really good sustainability accountability would let us work this out. We don't just believe the board of a large company when they say they are solvent. We ask for a full and audited set of accounts. So when an organisation tells us that it is sustainable, we have the same, if not a greater, need to see a full set of accounts about the extent to which they are indeed sustainable. And of course, there is the rub. There are no such accounts anywhere. Certainly not those produced on the GRI Sustainability Reporting Guidelines, or those that qualify for the Dow Jones Sustainability Index, for example. Businesses may well be sustainable, but there is no evidence to support it. Indeed, the evidence is all in the other direction. Does this matter? It most certainly does. If business really is sustainable, then the problem of sustainability lies elsewhere, and we need to look elsewhere for our problem. If business is part of the problem, and we continue to believe the contrary, then the biggest single issue to face humanity is being ignored in the mistaken belief that one of the ultimate causes is actually a force for good. We need the evidence. What sort of evidence do we need? The needs are pretty obvious and they comprise the things we see on this slide. And it is possible. Most of the elements that we need have been developed and have, to an experimental degree at least, applied in practice. This is not especially difficult, but it is crucial. This is what accounting for sustainability would actually look like. You won't find it anywhere in practice, at the moment, and as long as we continue to accept the use of the word sustainability for things which are either blatantly not sustainability, or at best have no evidence to support their claims, humanity will lose its one opportunity to reverse current critical trends of unsustainability. Whatever else sustainability reporting is about, it is not sustainability.